This is weird news, hysteria style. This is weird news, hysteria style. Learn to talk. How dare they try to test us. Check, check. This from the Guardian, anthropology. Anthropology like a social study. Social study, but it also history. Tell her then, tell her then, tell her, tell her then, then. You can't read it, it's not in focus. The more egalitarian a society, the smaller. The more egalitarian a society, the smaller the chance its citizens being ritually burned, bludgeoned, or crushed to death under a new canoe. Research shows. And yes, it does say new canoe. Thomas Van Lynch, him a teenager. Map in Syria, map in Syria. Him a Thomas Lynch, him a map in Syria. Following the war from his bedroom. Apparently, teenager Thomas Van Lynch scours Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for the latest on the Syrian conflict. But Thomas doesn't work for an intelligence agency. He doesn't work anywhere at all. He's 19 years old. That be BBC with that story. That be, that be BBC with that with that story. Cut, cut, cut. Tell me some facts. Hear them facts. 20% of people think no. 80% were right. Them's them facts. Cut, cut, cut. Back again. Ancient stories passed down from the centuries. Ancient stories passed from the centuries. Hashtag folklore Thursday on Twitter. In your area. Something else. Another story from the BBC. Folklore, it be folklore. Folklore, tell them. Ancient stories and traditions that have been passed down over centuries by word of mouth might not appear to be the obvious subject matter for a medium that thrives on novelty and speed and shit. But the hashtag Folklore Thursday is providing a forum for folklore from around the world to be shared with a new audience on social media. BBC. Trending. Shit. Like them house. The hashtag Folklore Thursday on Twitter and shit. In a Pakistan rat killer. In a Pakistan bounty hunter. In a Pakistan rat killer. In a Pakistan never bounty hunter. Authorities in Pakistan's northwest announced a bounty for killing rats after receiving hundreds of complaints of rodents infesting the region's biggest city. I think they covered this in Freakonomics. I think there was a case of a uh, government in India paying for the killing of cobra snakes. So what people did was they just bred loads of cobras at home and then killed them all and took them in for a reward. So some industrious people in Pakistan are probably breeding rats as we speak. How dare they try to test us? Shouts out to the spider, the trigger, the baseman. Check. The palmer, the charmer. Check. Yeah. Again, for <laughs> well, you guys that missed the board, I didn't kill anybody.